to flatten that foot out. In a week or two, you'll notice she's coming in completely flat as opposed to rolling on those toes. Same, same right. thing with this totally. one here. Well, good morning and welcome back to Balfour Farm. <laughs> as you can hear, the uh, heifers are making a racket and that is because one of them has gone missing. So uh, they normally don't stray too far. Oh, there she is. So uh, I hit the fence up here real quick and try and uh, move the rest of them. But the goal was today to move all the heifers out here behind the barn again, but she is a troublemaker. It was last night at, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night. I heard him making a racket and she was out last night. So the fence is on. She must just, uh, I don't know what she wants to do, but she's got out. Boy, they're loud. Now you want back in? Moose, hey. Heifer's chasing moose. All right, well, the heifers have moved out behind the barn onto some fresh grass. I figured out what the problem was, too. That one Stella kept getting out. The fence was plugged in. The trouble is I had one of the gates open, so the charge actually didn't go through and charge the entire line. So she found a spot that wasn't charged. Apparently kept getting out, but uh, they should stay put now. Hopefully. All right, well, we're back at it this afternoon. Um, I went out and I raked up the hay that uh, you would have seen mowed in the last video. Uh, now I just got to get the baler ready. Didn't have time to wash this either, like the, uh, the mower, but anyway, we're going to get it greased up and uh, get it ready to go. We're in a bit of a rush today. We're trying to race the weather. And for once, it's actually not the rain that we're trying to beat. It's the wind. It's been uh, 25 mile an hour winds today, which normally uh, dries the hay nice and is good. The trouble we're having is it's all raked up and it's blowing everywhere in the field. So I uh, need to get out and uh, get it bailed up before it blows away. <laughs> so we're going to do this really quick. Get all the chains greased. Grease the baler. Okay, the greasing is all done. Um, I even got a little bit on the baler, not just all over me. But uh, we're going to get out there, start baling hay and hopefully um, get it done before it blows I thought away. I would show you what we're up against is uh, we've got all the hay raked here, but uh, yeah, I'll show you where it's blowing away. So I don't know how clear that you can see it, but uh, all right there, it's all wind where it blew away, and bits and pieces of it are uh, over here hanging on the electric fence now. So uh, at least it's blowing in the right direction. So went in with the cows, but uh, yeah, not ideal here. So, it was so nice and neat too. So no drone footage today. So no drone footage today. We'll have to watch from inside the cab. Apparently it is too windy to fly a drone. So uh, at least that's what the drone says. It is 25 mile an hour winds plus um, and then some really serious gusts. So I guess it's probably not a good idea to put a little tiny thing up in the air and let it crash. But anyway, let me get the bale in here and uh, see how it goes, see how many bales we get. Well, this is a first. Normally I have problems with the first bale. It actually bailed up nice. Trouble is, I went to tie it and one side of the twine wasn't coming out. 
I yanked on it, yanked on it, it was plugged up, couldn't figure it out. Well, this is apparently a mouse decided to build a nest inside of my ball of twine. And uh, I wonder if it's still in there. That's a mess. That's gross. I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can't. That freaking mouse is in there still. Well, that's a first. Uh, that little mouse was still in there. I don't think the video picked it up, but a little tiny thing. Thought it had a good spot to live. Uh, we're about to go around with the baler. And it's going to give him a headache, I think. There we go. First bale of 2024. And, uh, yeah, it's okay. Could be a little tighter, but... Anyway, that little mouse just uh, while I was tying the bale, I decided to bail out. So, uh, didn't want to go for a ride, I guess. What you got there, girl, huh? Ooh, nice, clean, dry baby. Good job, Claire. The little question is. Oh, of course, it's a ball. Yep. Well, still, good job, girl. Good job. Well, that was a nice surprise. I was out here driving around the field, picking up bales of hay, hauling them back to uh, stack them. And I kept looking over, and Claire was off by herself, and I thought, boy, that's... Usually when the cows separate, they're going to have a calf. And she was due, obviously, to have a calf um, soon. So, uh, yeah, I came over. She'd already had it. She was laying down. I thought for sure she would be in the process of pushing one out. And, uh, nope, she pushed it out, all right. And it's all cleaned up. And she's up and lapping it off now. Now that I've got her to stand up again. But it's always nice to see unassisted calving which is good so the weather has been great for the past week and uh we've been cutting hay i think we have somewhere around 30 acres done and uh well not completely done that's part of today's project it is going to be a busy day so uh headed out to get the cows right now and uh i think we had a calf or i know we had a calf yesterday so we've got to get that and the mother up and then we have the hoof trimmer coming today. So uh, it's a new hoof trimmer. So we'll see if he uh, wants to be on video or not. But not everybody likes a camera stuck in their face. So once the hoof trimmer gets done today, uh, I've got 40 bales that we made off the big field here, which is the last video you would have seen I was mowing. So we baled it up, got 40 bales. I need to wrap it. It is dry hay, so uh, hauled it off the field yesterday afternoon. And then today we'll wrap it. Got another 10 acre field that I mowed two days ago, I think now. Or, yeah, I think about that. Gotta go rake that. We're gonna bale that tomorrow afternoon. And then last night we mowed another 10 acre field, so see if we can find a baby here. newest addition to the farm is daddy you're covered in mud there buddy a new baby bull calf uh, i was born yesterday afternoon yeah get up let's go good boy let's go come on buddy can i go up to the barn first trip to the barn That is not your mama. Oh, dude, don't get pooped on. Well, somebody's getting breakfast. Now 
now he decides to walk now that I've carried him halfway up to the barn. Somehow the cows always know when I have something to do or somewhere to be. They always take their time more so than normal. I don't know what it is, but they're getting there slowly. is to take the inside sole out of here because yep. this penal bone comes down right here, right? Yep. And if that's too far dished this way, that's why that toe's rolling. If you take it pressure out of here, that bone's gonna push down here. There's no yeah. sole, it's got this for support, so that toe will actually rotate back it'll over time. It'll start back, yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll, she'll have to because when she puts her foot down, this will hit first yep. and her bone comes down in here, which will flatten that foot out. In a week or two, you'll notice she's coming in completely flat as opposed to rolling on those toes. Same, same like thing with this one. Right. We, yeah. took, we took more off the inside than we should have here. It looks yep. odd compared to this flat toe, but we yep. take that depth oh, out so of here. puts more pressure on the puts outside. Puts the pressure here so that bone can come down here huh. to flatten out that foot. Yeah, yeah. You'll notice Because if there's nothing there, week. it's going to push. Right. Yeah. You don't want to get too aggressive because you take too much sole away. They have no protection. They can drive something through there, yeah. but you have to get a little aggressive when they start to screw like that. Come here. Come on. Come on. I had a sleep talk. Oh, yeah. She would have said one stick her head for <laughs> Number four. And the before and after is not going to be the most beautiful. No. <laughs> it's going to be impressive. It's going to be impressive. In a week it will be. Yeah.
bruising. From what that's exactly where the penal bone comes down oh, yeah. into the foot. And there's nothing there. I dug her out deep. But there was a rock right here from these flaps where it was growing over. Huh. It, all that debris catching was it. catching underneath yeah. those flaps. Huh. Now that we've dug out, it's not very pretty, but it was so overgrown, it's the best we're gonna get. And uh, we've taken out the middle. So watch when she gets down, this foot will start flexing like that. Rotating back. Yep, because this is gonna hit first and then her pressure will come down, forcing it straight. As long as we do her again in the fall, just like that. Oh yeah. We try and trim at least twice a year, if not three times. So. See how the pressure comes down and the foot yeah. turns back into the middle pit. So she's been so far on them heels, she's just going to have to learn to be up on the toes again. All right, well, it's 3.30 now. I just hooked up the hay rake that's following behind me. And uh, we're headed off to rake. I have two fields. Probably should turn that down. Uh, air conditioning feels nice. We're headed off to rake two fields. Um, it's about 20 acres all total. So, uh, and then I think I will probably mail it tomorrow. Possibly some of it Wednesday if it's not dry enough. So, uh, anyway, got the hoof trimmer all set. We get out of here probably around noon time. And, uh, that was kind of cool to watch. It was a different shoot or a different, I don't know, whatever you call it, a thing trimming table, I guess, and tilted the cows over instead of lifting them up. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get to it. Get some hay rake, hopefully. All right, so earlier I said I was going to um, rake uh, two fields. They were 10 acres a piece, so it would have been 20 acres total. But what I've decided to do was uh, the first field that I went to, I raked it, the 10 acre field. Uh, it's perfectly dry, so it's ready to bale. It's about six o'clock right now at night. So I'm gonna put some more twine in the baler here. Uh, I gotta bring it up to the shop, probably put a little more fuel in the tractor. I'm gonna go over and bale that one 10 acre field. I still haven't raked the other 10 acre field. Uh, we'll let that sit overnight and then tomorrow I will rake it and hopefully bale it if it's dry. The hay is really thick at that other field. Uh, this field that we're about to go do, super thin hay. This is the first year that we've actually uh, managed this. No, second year. This will be going into the second year that we've managed this field. Um, and the hay just isn't very good yet. So we're going to keep adding manure to it, lime it, and uh, it will get better over time. But right now it's uh, pretty thin. All right, so we just got out here into the field. Uh, we're gonna start bailing. It's about 6.30 now. And uh, it shouldn't take too long, I hope. But, uh, and I don't think there's a lot of bales here, but 
it'll be interesting to see. So this field here is about the same size as the last one that we just did, which was our field. And uh, there was 39 bales on that, 40 really, but one of them was a little small. So 39 bales, uh, we'll see what we get off this one. All right, well, all done baling hay tonight. So uh, if I counted right, I think there was about 30 bales, maybe 31, I don't know. You always find out when you haul them off the field. Anyway, I'll uh, show you what we had here. The bales look good, um, but yeah, just not a lot of them. So really dry hay too, so. All right, well, that is going to do it for tonight. Uh, I am headed to the house. It's 8 o'clock now and uh, started this morning. I don't even know what time. It was early. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of what we're doing here on the farm. And uh, the next video, I think, will be bailing a little bit more. And we're, I'll actually show the bailing. Uh, it was in kind of a rush tonight, so we didn't show much of that. But... Anyway, we're going to uh, wrap some hay. So we'll definitely be wrapping hay the next time, stacking some hay, and uh, who knows what else, whatever else happens to come up. So uh, didn't actually expect to be doing a video about hoof trimming this time around. Uh, I was just really fortunate that the hoof trimmer had an opening. Somebody had canceled, and uh, the last minute, so he came out. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.